Communities can make public and negative claims, but what do you gain from that? It depends on the investors. If in a community they make public claims positive, maybe they'll go positive. But if they make negative, maybe they'll go negative, or the opposite can happen. There's no guarantee on the community claims. However, following these forums on whatever you invest in can assist you in, in making better answer, better decisions before these things happen because there were alerts on certain platforms in reference to this crash. Number seven. This is something that most people get to do, well, forget to do. You invest in one coin. What is wrong with that? Have you heard of a word called diversify? If you diversify, did you know you have a better chance of making it out alive or with more opportunities? Because one coin could be down 95% in Terra, Terra Luna, but another coin could be down 30% or 50%. You'd still be ahead of the game. There are all weather portfolios. That's how I operate on stocks and crypto because relying on one source can give you unbelievable impact into your investments. I remember... Three years ago, one of my colleagues, Charles, said to me, oh, you seem to be diversified. You're not specifically investing in one, uh, in one specific type of company or anything like that. And he said, yes, that's right. And he's go he asked me why. The reason? The all-weather portfolio. You've got to be prepared for the rain, for the winters. We're through winter right now, and I'm not perfectly prepared, but I am better prepared than when I started. All weather portfolios outside of the realm and not just in eggs. Don't just purchase eggs. Purchase chickens. Purchase cows and so on. You, you've got to be able to keep uh, your options open. Don't just purchase on Bitcoin or make sure you have some diversification because you never know what's going to happen. Number eight. Money alone doesn't make a project. Terra Luna had huge amounts of money, and it's being provided subsidies through, I believe, UST. A lot of money is being provided into this. I, I think I saw it in here. Bringing back my death spiraling Luna mo model, turns out it was accurate. All of those didn't age well. Jabs at it didn't age well. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, I, I uh, here we go. The price stabilization mechanism is absorbing UST supply over 10% of total supply, but the cost of absorbing so much stable coins at the same time has stretched out the on-chain swap spread to 40%, and Luna price has diminished dramatically, absorbing the ARBs. Jeez. Well, I hope Doquan can save it, and I hope that there is a community that still believes in Terra Luna, even though they've bailed out for fear, because that's reality. People bail out for fear, and maybe in a few days I might be wrong, but in general, looking at history, because history repeats itself, most people bail out at the wrong time. More, just look at the Pareto Principle, 80-20. And I'd, I dare to say 90-10. 90% of the people will bail out at the wrong time, and 10% will hack in there and stay in there and weather out this storm. What do you think, what do you gain from saying to the moon right now? Zero credibility. It's a term that has been overused and right now doesn't sound optimistic. It's pessimistic right now. It's, it's probably not being used anywhere. But I've seen some people post positive things and those things have to be noted. Number 10. There's plenty of opportunity in stocks and crypto. Plenty of opportunity. You can have it all. Netflix had it all. But everything that goes up can come down. Everything that is visual, is perception, is electronic, can come be turned to dust or can turn to nothing. That's just the reality. Be aware of that, that you're making these investments and whenever you go into these investment firms, that's the first thing they tell you is, you know, you could lose it all. It doesn't matter if I make decisions, you could lose it all. They could lose it all. You can lose it all. It's best to be in control yourself of the money instead of having somebody else do it for you because you don't know exactly what they're doing in the end. Relying on others, just as, just as I explained, I mean, Netflix relies on us to subscribe. 
However, its shareholders want more from Netflix, stating that Netflix doesn't have any ads and that brings their va that Netflix's value down. And it's not necessarily true, but because of them spreading that, now look at Netflix stock. It is way down, way down. It probably will be a good one in the long term because they will reinvest in it, but it's not my cup of tea right now, but I will look into that because there are a lot of stock opportunities as well as, as crypto opportunities. Number 11, why do these fall? Why do these fall? There's fear, there's inflation, there's a looming recession. We are in a recession. Normally it's not said until afterwards, but there's less people employed, everything is expensive, and the, the housing market soon is running into peril. I don't know what's going to happen if people buy. It's a good time to buy because there will be people attempting to sell 50% higher than, than it's worth if you're in major cities or in major opportunistic places. That's right. There are people willing to sell whatever it is worthless to you. Volatility is why things fall. Skeptical people f filled with fear. That's what makes these markets fall. Skeptical people. Now, again, as, as I show you this heat map right here, this is in the last hour. Bitcoin has dropped to 28,950. I purchased 28,4 just a little bit, a little bit. And it's gone down several times. Earlier today, I started at, what was it, 29,7, and I purchased a little bit as well. You're not going to catch the bottom. But maybe you do, great, but catch a little bit. And eventually, this is going to go way up. It's going to shoot up there. It's going <laughs> to go to the moon, right? You don't want to hear that term. But these are projects that are sound, that are going to be around for a long, long time. Now, in the last 30 days, let's wait until this refreshes. In the last 30 days, let me just make sure it's refreshed. Hold on. Sometimes it, it takes a moment to come up and show you realistic numbers. Here we go. Is that right? In the last month, it's only down. F okay, there we go. <laughs> That's why I wait. It's down 31% from what it was. It was somewhere around 40,000 last month. E Ethereum, it was somewhere around, if I had to guess, somewhere around 3,200, 3,100, 3,100 or so. And some of these other projects you can see in here, you can see even these small ones in here. Some of the ones, BNX is up 5%. I don't know what that is. There it is, $81 Binary X. I don't know this project. I don't, and does it benefit me? I don't. I wouldn't would be able to tell. It's not heavily invested in right now, but you can see it's had a cup right there. And it was down a 0 0.00 Gs. All right. Well, this is in BTC, so it's not going to be that easy to see. But just so you're aware, it's in there. Let's go back to our former chart. Give me a second. There we go. And let's go down this list. Number 12. Are you young? If you're young, do errors. Make errors. My leader who's 70-plus years old, Ray, La Ray Dalio, who's taught me a lot through his audiobooks, through his videos. I've learned a lot. But one of the most important lessons is he's had many errors. He's lost over a billion with a B. One billion. Can you imagine losing a billion? How about imagining at the same time that you lose a billion, you've made 19 billion with a B. Is it okay to lose a billion and make 19? Well, if it's not okay with you, send it over my way. Of course it's okay. Make errors. Even at my age, I'm a little bit older, just at 50. Young. I'm, a, I'm older. I'm, I'm 50 years young. I hope that sounded good to you. It sounds very good to me. The reality is, is that we're going to make some errors, and we need to learn from these errors. And these next two or three things that I'm going to say are probably, if not the most important things, very close to that. Number one, if you purchase Bitcoin right now at 28000 right, and you, you got in, let's say you bought one share at 28000 and maybe you want to cash out when it gets to 50000 why don't you just put a sell 
limit price at 50,000. Good until canceled. Now, not all softwares are going to allow you this. Not all exchanges. I don't think Robinhood would allow that. I don't think uh, which other softwares. Webull might not allow it. Some of these simpler softwares, they're not going to allow it. Cash App's not going to allow it. Venmo, I don't think. PayPal. Uh, I don't know the other exchanges. Maybe Gemini might not allow it. And Coinbase and Coinbase Pro, they might allow it. But if you set a limit, isn't it better to cash in than to worry about when it's going to cash, when when it's going to drop again? Whatever limit you want to set, I, that's just an example. You could set it at thirty-five thousand. I mean, that's twenty percent gains if you if you're jumping in now, right? That that's really good. Now there's another step if you don't want to set a limit. If you want to be more powerful, there's something called a stop loss, and this is number fourteen. A stop loss basically means when it gets to forty thousand you enter in and you put a stop loss on it at forty thousand if bitcoin drops five percent four percent ten percent it'll automatically sell how does that sound however if it keeps going upward it won't sell right away but let's say it gets to you wanted to sell at forty thousand for example and it goes to forty eight thousand and all of a sudden it drops ten percent which is forty eight hundred BTCs in USD, BTCs, 4,800. So that would make it 43,200. 43,200, it would sell automatically. That's what a stop loss is. However, there's one more to that. Number 15, a trailing stop loss. In a trailing stop loss, it is much more powerful than a limit order or just a regular stop loss order because a stop oh, stop loss order you have to set it when you purchase bitcoin but the trailing stop you can set later and that trailing stop is what i was just referring to the example i just gave where it keeps going upward and if it as soon as it drops four percent ten percent boom it sells whatever it is you want to set it up you could set it up for one percent but it's going to fill up pretty quickly because it has fluctuation bitcoin and all these cryptos have fluctuations you've got to be aware of that that is normal now number 16 how is it that most people make money in these coins how is it well i want to show you the charts on that let me see if i can bring up bitcoin and ethereum i want to show you these now this is ethereum and this is a daily chart and this is what people do to make money now let's say i enter down here at one uh, this was wait this is matic this is not ethereum why did it say ethereum let me see ethereum why is it that dollar what are the, why is it matic down here ethereum to usd chart uh, this is confusing it's matic this is polygon matic let's say i enter at where are we a dollar five right and then i cash out at a dollar 20. what did i just make 15 percent or so that's pretty good right now you let it ride you let it ride and then you see that it drops 10 percent again or 10 cents you can go in and at a dollar 30 or a dollar what is it a dollar 20 dollar 22 let's say you catch it somewhere in here and then you drop in again and at five or ten percent you draw you cash out at dollar 48 let's say now it goes up to a dollar sixty and you miss that move but it drops again from a dollar sixty to where to a dollar forty six maybe you want to catch in again right in there and you ride it for another ten five to ten percent and you catch it at dollar seventy now this is on the way up here you can see that it's on the way up even though it has steps but how about on the way down you do the same now how do you do this you wait until it gets to a low level and then you see one big candle and then you purchase in here 210 212 and then you wait and sell at 229 235 to 10 percent and then wait and see what happens maybe it'll go way up but what happens if it goes down 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 you got to wait and see where it goes and wait a few candles these are daily candles so this is not the accurate picture for one day but this is just an example and let's say you cash you want to purchase in again here at a dollar 52 and then it it doesn't go your way here and you wait 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 and then you cash out a dollar 76 great you missed this move here but you're making money that's the cash to all of this that is something that most of us don't want to deal with that we just want to park our money and let it ride in those days still exist the 90% are part of that, 
And that's why they're cashing out right now, late after the information came out, taking their small amounts of money out instead of leaving it parked in there until it returns what they needed to return. These are 16 different benefits that we can learn from a market crash. Stocks, crypto, likewise. This is CEO Trades. Please like, share, subscribe. And remember, if you want to double your bank account, why don't you invest in your knowledge account so your money market account will grow multiplied. And until tomorrow, we'll, we'll look at another session of the crypto correction phase.